Hello everyone, thanks for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and we're going to continue playing as the United States, a democratic United States, and Hearts of Iron 4 with Man the Guns DLC. Now, I have spent about five, six hours learning about the naval aspect and the naval meta of this game so far, and that's really going to be our focus of this campaign. Also, if you haven't noticed, my mic is probably a little bit louder than normal. So just kind of hang in there with me. I'm, if it's if my mic is too loud, let me know. If the music isn't loud enough, please also let me know in the comments below. So right now, I have, we, everyone, people have discovered that submarines are very good. They are very, very good in uh, this new meta. Because if you have no ship that can counter submarines, they will immediately try to retreat, even, even other subs. So... Like, for example, if I'm playing the United States, and I have subs, and I go against the Japanese who have subs, in that single battle, if we only have subs, they're both retreat, because they can't kill each other. Only ships that have anti-submarine warfare capabilities will be able to fight subs. So, battleships have no way of killing subs, so they will really not last very long, unless they can escape. So that being said, right now, I am still grinding out more naval experience, which we will need. Trust me, we will definitely need more naval experience. But, man, my coffee smells good. But, uh, I'll show you in a little bit. So, Representative criticizes the President. Ultimately, a uh, long-winded speech about many failings of the administration. We've, we, yeah, we've already gone over this last time. Up to 20 representatives will go into opposition. Whatever. Oh, the election of 1936. This could be very important. The day of the presidential election has arrived. Incumbent... FDR has already implemented several of the programs I referred collectively to as the New Deal, intended to take the U.S. out of the Great Depression. While many of the efforts have been popular, his plans to further extend the role and power of the government have been met with criticism from his opponent, Republican Alf Landon. Coming from the oil industry, Landon wants to see greater economic freedom, while Roosevelt and the Democratic Party want to expand Social Security and ensure economic stability. The election may be a close call, and it or a major victory for the Democrats. Let's see. Well, we could do this. But I'm not going to do that. Staunch constitutionalist. I mean, if you want my opinion, which you probably don't watch, which you probably don't want, I'm going to go with New Deal, which gives us more stability and infrastructure. Construction speed. And elections to Congress. Every two years, a third of the Senate seats and all seats of the House of Representatives are up for election. Uh, not... No, House of Representatives are elected every four years. I mean, isn't it? I thought it was every four years. While often overshadowed by world events, this local situation in each constituency can sometimes make the difference. After all the votes were counted, the faction in support of the government lost 11 seats in the Senate and 87 seats in the House. So be it. Yeah, Senators are elected every six years. The House of Representatives are, I think, elected every four years, I believe. That's what I thought it was. There's a difference of two years. Anyways. So, back to the naval meta. Let's see, actually, yeah, 22 per day. We're granting statehood to Hawaii and Alaska in 1936. New Deal. When is it going to announce New Deal 2? That's what I really want to know about. Anyways, so, like I said, I spent about five hours. What I'm currently doing is actually, you know what, everyone under this guy. So, I've been trying to put all the submarines in, under one admiral for now. Now, I'm probably going to try to balance them out actually try to combine everybody. Just go, everyone, go ahead, come home. You don't need to grind for any more XP right now. Uh, is repairing Guam? Yeah. I don't care. Just go ahead and come over here. Everyone's coming over here. I'm going to combine them and make one big sea submarine fleet. And that will patrol a massive number of these naval regions, which has been expanded in the new meta. Now, that being said, this guy, William... Hazley Jr. will be our submarine captain. Now, I'm trying to do the same thing with my destroyers. So, basically, you have your, like in the old meta, you had your fleet that did one job at a time. However, this, now we will have several different fleets that are organized in different fashions. For example, the first fleet will be the pride of the fleet, the one that you really want to join when you're like, you know, a 16-year-old kid. It'll have the battleships, it'll have the different types of cruisers, the carriers, and the destroyers, and maybe a few subs. This will be the meat and potatoes 
of your fleet, like the things that you really want. Then you'll have a secondary fleet that scans and puts in mines, which we have down here when we're at war, which is done by, I think, subs and destroyers. I'm not sure who does them. I haven't really gone that far. But we'll have a fleet for that, for mining, destroying other mines, mine sweeping, I guess. And then ultimately, patrolling the waters, which will then use our main fleet, our, you know, the main, you know, heavy hitters, will be a strike force to find enemy fleets. But patrols, which I will probably relegate to mostly destroyers, heavy and light cruisers, and maybe battle cruisers, while we wait for the main fleet, our number one fleet, as a patrol, as a strike group. Now the last fleet, of course, will be the subs. Will be the subs who do probably a lot of damage, especially convoy rating, if that is applicable. Now I'm probably going to do set up two of each. So massive fleet in the Atlantic that you know will make everything go boom. Well, subs and we'll have destroyers that patrol. Destroyers, I say destroyers, but really screens and maybe a few capital ships. And we'll do the exact same thing for the Pacific. That is my goal for this episode. Now I'm not going to change too much at the moment, just because some of these ships are actually uh, upgrading right now. I learn a little bit more about upgrading but not a whole bunch so you definitely you have to have death charges because subs I've heard are very good very very good active sonar uh, can I get I guess you can't use XP boost for this it's 1936 still and that was a long explanation of some of the naval meta magnetic detonator destroyer oh yeah destroyers do get more torpedo attacks oh but subs get this yeah we definitely want that 79 days isn't too bad Mmm, that coffee it smells really good, but the taste isn't as strong as it uh, as it should be. But whatever. Here, so we have a carrier here. They are re refitting. Ooh, agricult agricultural adjustment act. So, so we reduce the effect of the Great Depression. Replace slow recovery with slow economic growth. Well, that's, a, that's a, when you get the government involved. You get less political power, more resource gain, more uh, population. Uh, we get more factories to use, and we lost some support. So we can't do another New Deal legislation for another 230 days, but we do get pay farm subsidies and we'll get more people to support us. Cool. Suspend so the persecution. You know, I, I like how they've added these focuses, or foci, but they're not really uh, laid out so much that, oh, this is the communist path. Oh, this is the kind of fascist, more fascist path, which I suppose they kind of did over here. Because when you ally with the silver shirts, you eventually honor the Confederacy. And war powers, mm, I don't know about that. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, I mean, I suppose this is more like the right, the, the far right fascist path. But this, I mean, this is obviously the left wing path with you know full desegregation, democratic socialism. But some of these, they're not really that communist or socialist. I mean, suspend the persecution probably isn't that communist. Union representation. Unions themselves are not socialist or anything like that. Or, I mean, they could be closely related, but not exactly, you know. Regardless, that's enough about politics. Uh, let's see. Arsenal democracy. Uh, more than 95% support for Democratic Party. Uh, we get military and naval factories. That's actually really good. Uh, is there anything I can do here? War plan divisions. Really no point in that. War plan yellow. Uh... Execute war plan. Defense of the Pacific could be good, though. And War Department. Well, we don't need the Pentagon or the Department of Defense, which is actually called Department of War in this time period. Limited conscription. Uh, actually, that would be really good to do. Set base war support to 10%. Louisiana maneuvers. Support Rock Island. They're still around with us. Uh, Women's Armed Service Integration Act. All right. Two Ocean Navy Act. Actually, this could be really good. That's what we actually want. Fund the Navy. Bureau of Ships, which would be good for us. And Maritime Commission. Actually, this is really good for all this stuff. We should probably focus on that a little bit more. But I really want those military and uh, naval dockyards. Rubber reserves. Cool. All right. Enough about me talking. Let's keep going. Let's make it to 1937 before this, vi this end of this video ends. Ugh. Okay, six and seven heavy fighters. We will need those eventually. Tactical bombers would be good. Strategic bombers would be dropping nukes like there's no tomorrow. Maybe six. Can't do this yet. Get the technology director fire. Land auction. We're researching. I should be grinding for more XP, honestly. Uh, 
I really love the naval stuff. I really want to focus on naval stuff so much. But let's go ahead and get some more reinforcement. Because the army is still very important. You can't ignore the army. And a lot of this stuff... Oh, you... I forgot. You can train your own pilots, too. Which is actually very, very cool. Let's go ahead and get a couple pilots. We, we will need a lot of um, air and speed to get things done more quickly. Uh, is that all we got? Crap. That's okay. Let's go ahead and train. Oh, oh! I actually have you guys training already. Awesome. No, I guess we don't get that much XP, but that's okay. We got a lot of stability. We got no war support, basically. And do we have all of our subs over here? Now, what we're going to do, I think this is probably going to be wrong, but you're going to bear with it with me, because no one knows the meta yet, unless you're watching like a month ahead of schedule, or a month after this comes out. We're going to merge them all into one thing. Now, that's 64 subs. Now, I don't want everything here to be in one group. I do want to split this group up, which I will. Ooh, Senator votes for government proposal. In a recent vote, Senator surprisingly switched sides to vote for a government proposal. While the issue itself was fairly minor, the public votes of support from a previously outspoken critic of FDR has raised many eyebrows around Washington. Well, a senator voted is one guy, but we get up to five senators to support the government. Cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, lobbying efforts, pay farm subsidies. Actually, I kind of want to see what that does. Well, let's get the interwar artillery. It's 1937, guys. Hope you're having a great, great year. We want more construction speed first. And then, let us see. Grant state... Uh, no. Uh, pay farm subsidies. So, for, we lose a little bit of factories, but then we get more support. Special measures. Oh, wow, we have, like, no house support. Holy crap. The Senate likes us. Nation building the Philippines would be good. Let's go ahead and do the farm subsidies. And special measures. Let's do that. Oh, we got a little bit more support. Very nice. So we have, I think, I'm trying to get all of my destroyers here doing the exact same thing as I said earlier. And we still have a few of you guys living there. And you guys are repairing in Guam. So this is a type of task force that will patrol the area that I kind of like. Now, how about this? Repairing in California. Right? You are battleships, heavy cruisers, and a light cruiser. It's not bad. And then you have three carriers, 11 battleships, three heavy cruisers, nine light cruisers, and 24 destroyers. So that's not bad either. What I'm probably going to do... Let's see. You have a very small group which could patrol using some of the destroyers. Isn't too bad. Actually, I could probably move the reserve fleet over here into this group. Because these are subs. These are subs right now. Oh, uh, I guess we're getting more and more and more. Oh, convoy escorts. Very nice. 1937. Let's make sure we get our industry really primed up and ready to go. Because uh, we do have some of these things here. I want you, you, all you guys just go to Boston which is called Massachusetts in real life. Wait, it's called Massachusetts in this game as well. New England. Frick, yeah. Uh, ooh, the cruiser hull. Actually, that's outdated. We can't really do much because it's already trying to go anyways. Which I suppose is fine. We do need more chromium. Chromium. Can I get some chromium, somebody? Cuba. Definitely don't want to give it to Japan. We'll get some of that. Nice. And let's see, scouting force. Uh, I want to honestly, I'll put it the battleships battle force. I know my naval meta isn't exactly perfect, but this is the way I kind of understand at the moment. Now, I haven't had very much experience with it, but that's okay. Uh, battleships battle force. I want to put all these guys in there just because that that group could use some serious. Uh, Destroyers. And then the rest of these guys, I'm going to send to New England again. Oh, wait. These are subs. Frickin' god dang. New York. New York. New York. Come to New York. Since they're not going to make infinite number of these, that's it's okay to do it like this. New York. Uh, yeah. New York. New York. I'm going to suppose that I'm probably really going to focus on having the war go really start for us in the Pacific. I don't know about you, but that's my inclination. If that happens, 
battleships, that's fine. Uh, you come to New York, and then you come to New York. Uh, I have so many for New York. Screw it, we're going to make some Pacific fleets as well. Uh, Pennsylvania's not in the Pacific. Washington is a, such a small base, but whatever, we'll do that for now. Washington as well. Where are you, Washington? There you are. No one even likes you, Washington. You're so, it's literally, like, Seattle's like one of the most depressing cities in the entire country. My god, how many things are we trying to make? I need so many more thingies. More dockyards. Yeah, we'll leave that for battleships. Leave two for battleships. Thanks for those guys, those guys, those guys. Oh, I'm making a lot of destroyers. Okay, and that's it. Alright. Full speed ahead, boys. And you are doing alright. You are grinding out a lot of XP that you kind of really don't need but very much, but some of you guys do. Go ahead and repair this group. We have a battleship as the Pride. House Committee supports presidential policy that latest round of hearings in the House Committee on Ways and Means has resulted in a report crediting the President's policies with a major improvements in all available metrics of the economy. It wasn't outright praise, but the report nevertheless came as a blow to those that were criticizing the President and demanding reforms. You know what I like about this? Oh wow, more representatives. Is that they don't like say, oh, it's the Republicans doing this, oh, it's the Democrats doing this. No. It's all just opposition and support. Which I think is a very smart tactical move of Paradox. Because we could make this, we can dive even deeper into the rap, political rabbit hole if you really want, but I don't think I want to do that right now. I'll save that for a third channel. Third channel. Oh. Uh, Arsenal of Democracy. Cool. Got more military factories. Ooh. Our air XP, naval XP, and a little bit of army XP. Scientist Haven. <gasps> oh! We can get another research slot. By 1937. Jesus Christ, that's amazing. Alright, so what do we need? Well, we need guns and we need support equipment. We're okay on artillery, but man, we are so lacking in everything. Let's do that. Um, yeah, we'll definitely need some more of this. Actually, I really don't want to make things that are that will literally be outdated very, very soon. Uh, I would prefer to focus on regular fighters and regular interwar bombers than carrier stuff because we already have a surplus. They're not very good, but you know, whatever. So we have. Oh, okay, so we have. Let's, let's lower this by two. So we can actually use more of those dockyards. Magnetic detonator. 1937, of course. We're almost done with industry. Production efficiency cap. Very nice. Because you can allot a certain number of dockyards to repair things, okay? And then you have another certain number of dockyards that are strictly used for building. Which I think is kind of smart. Early. Are these actually building or are these repairing? I think these are. I think these are. They're not repairing. They're not repairing because these are repairing. These are working on your production lines if you need to upgrade or do things like that. Faragut class? What the heck is a Faragut? Huh. Oh, th wait, this is actually affected by... Yeah, production is affected by free trade. So that's actually pretty good. Alright, so how's this coming along? We need a lot more house support. For 45 days, we get less political power. We have 0. 0.72 a day. Ban communism. Grand state... No. Uh, let's see. It's a 5 standards and 50 representatives. I really want more house support. God, I wish I was a dictator. It'd be so much easier if you were just a dictator, man. But we are making more civilian factories. That's really good. Alright, so... Oh, Senator votes for government proposal. In a recent vote, a senator has surprisingly switched sides to vote for a government proposal. While the issue itself was minor... Fairly minor, uh, he's raised... He's kind of voting something that FDR would support. And honestly, something like that, I mean... You know, it's, it's kind of stupid that... Oh! Oh no, a Republican or a Democrat voted for the opposite side. Who cares, to be honest. They're all scoundrels anyways. Uh, let's see, you guys are docked in California. No, I want everyone to come here, New York. These will be all the destroyers. You are all the subs, which I'm just going to combine already. But they're leaving regardless. I want literally all you here. And everyone here, I want to merge. And then... Holy crap. Oh, we finished radio. Very nice. Hold, come back. 
Uh, let's see. Dock in New York, California, California. What is going on in California there? Uh. Oh. So, this is a heavy creature. Uh, well, whatever. Let's go get the, some research and we'll continue exploring with this a little bit. 37, so we're done with industry for the most part. We could get more fuel gain per oil, but I'm I'm thinking that we, we have enough fuel at the moment. Let's see, we probably need better artillery. Oh wait, we can't do that. We still have to make the garbage artillery from the 19th century. 37, that's good. Uh, battleships. We probably want better battleships, but we definitely need the best carrier hulls. What's this? Oh, better torpedoes. I definitely want better torpedoes, but uh, this looks promising as well. So where are you at? This is a scouting force which will help patrol. Um, honestly, I don't mind just shoving you over here. Come under this guy's wing. And so I want everyone to come over here. But they won't. Select all. Oh. That's how you do it. I didn't select them all. Go figure. So everyone's going to come over here. Uh, basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to shove everyone into one force besides the pride of our fleet, and then just kind of divide things up from there. So everyone's going to come together, and then I'm going to slice them up. That's our goal. Pretty good. So I think we have all come together. We have a few battleships, a few heavy cruisers, a few light cruisers, and seven, wow, 71 destroyers. That's a crap ton of destroyers. I wish there was a button stating that you could I guess technically that's one way to do it, is to upgrade everyone that you possibly can. Refit ships. Well, we have a, quite a bit of naval XP. It's level 1. I want level 2, though. Because we get uh, anti-submarine. This would be better, yeah. So let's at least get that. Custom slots. Torpedo launchers. Still have only level 1. Torpedoes. Still have only level 1, like I just said. What about anti-air? We've got level 2. We get a little bit less speed. Well, we get more anti-air, which would be good. There are no existing ships. We fit to do that. Whatever. Whatever. Ooh, scientist saving. Awesome. Actually, yeah. Uh, it's two. Did I just change this or not? I can't. I don't, can't remember. Yeah. I think I just already did this. Mine warfare is great and all, but torpedoes are really where it's at. Anyways. All right, we have six research slots by 1937. Jesus, Manhattan. We can already do the Manhattan Project. Two bonuses for nuclear technology. Holy crap! Suspend the persecution. Reach out to the Ware Group. Uh, that would be okay. And monarchism. Topple, what, topple the governments. Secure China. Uh, accumulated wealth tax. Uh, union representation. Part of government has trade communist revolutionary. I don't think I can do that. Suspend the persecution. Well, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go with the War Department for our next masterpiece. Oh, do we have... Oh, we can get M3 tanks. That's better. Oh, we're almost done with our naval stuff. Or actually, our naval ship production. The Hindenburg Incident. Oh, look, look how fast this is going. Alright, so now we can actually start building something that we really want. Now, I don't know everything here. But, let's see, Cruiser 4. It's actually not too bad. Can we upgrade this? Oh, they have a catapult to launch planes. Um, catapult facilities. I think we already have that. Oh, we don't. Cool. Uh, secondaries. This is... Cruiser hole A5. So you can, you know, obviously make different types of cruiser holes. Uh, let's see. I don't think I have level 3 for this. Oh, what was that? That was a medium battery. This would lower our speed. Requires more supply use. But give us more heavy attack and heavy piercing. Now, do I want them to do that or not? Huh. Duplicate. Fire control. Yeah. Fire control zero. That's fine. So we can make more cruisers, which I kind of like. Or we can get more carriers. 
1936. Level 2 carriers aren't too bad. Front custom slots. Can we get anti... This would lower our speed just a little bit, but better anti-air. Huh. Oh, we can add a... Oh, we can't, we can't do that yet. Let's see. Anti-air. Light deck space. Secondaries. Engines. Can we get a better engine? No. Well, let's go ahead. I kind of want another cruiser. Honestly, uh, we can also deselect some of these as well. So, let's see. Early destroyers. We don't want that. Early destroyer. Hole A3. Yeah, we don't even want to know that that exists. Early sub holes, no. 1936, New Orleans class. Eh. Early ship, early heavy ship, converted cruiser hold, no. Converted battleship hold, no. Uh, let's see, Yorktown class. Well, we already have Yorktown anyways. Alright, early cruiser hold, we don't need that either. Alright. Oh, we do we have some divisions? Oh, I guess we do. Cool. Just add them here and we're all going to face Mexico together, and be like, Grr, Mexico, what are you doing? Yar. I'm a, I'm an American pirate, whatever. Uh, we got divisions being made, totally fine with me. Put a, put a face on this guy. Yes, yes, I know, I should pause the game. Uh, Courtney Hodges. Eh, but whatever. Cool. Alright, so we can actually make some more stuff, but before we actually make anything else, let's go ahead and combine you. So this will be our main fleet. Now, obviously, I'm going to divide these, these guys up. Let's see. Open task force. Uh, let's see. Create a new task force. So then you can create different smaller versions of ta task forces, which actually I will do in the next video, just because it's going to take me some more time to actually get through all of this. But, uh, what can we use? we got a couple heavy cruisers, a light cruiser there. Uh, our, the pride of our fleet, Pacific Patrol Squad, or I guess the Strike Squad. Mm. Coffee. A lot of these guys. We could use a few more destroyers over here in this guy's group. Uh, actually, you can have automatic split off. Oh, wait, maybe not. Maybe you're training. Yeah, you're still training, whatever. Mm. Coffee's pretty good. But, so we have 12 of those. We Quite a few light cruisers. I think that group is pretty okay. We could use another carrier, though. Let's start making another carrier. Let's see. Carrier hull. And obviously, we've already looked at it. We can't really make it get any larger. But we're going to automatically send you to Battleships Battle Force. Yes, I know we have carriers in Battleship Battle Force, but whatever. And then we will also add one over here as well. So you, are, you have the subs. U.S. Navy Group subs. You have, honestly, you should probably be under this guy. Oh, but who are you? So you both have something like this. So you're in New England. You'll be on this side. And then this guy is in the Mariana region, which is already in Asia, basically, over here. Cool. You're already grinding out for XP. That's fine. You're called the Asiatic Fleet. So be it. And then this guy's submarine base force. Well, I was kind of screwed up your name. Just join him. Oh, I need to actually suck so with that in mind, actually, I want both of you to retreat, go home, but realistically, just come to, where's, where's Philippines? No one knows where the Philippines is, no one cares about the Philippines. They're all going to come here. God dang it, got to select the thing. So then I'm going to combine them, and that'll be, and this will be the Asiatic Fleet will be the Pacific Patrolling Fleet. So, Asiatic Fleet, Asiatic Fleet. I need some more destroyers for the Asiatic Fleet. Their subs, which are great. Cruisers. Did I get rid of my... Oh, God. I think I got rid of my destroyers. Oh, crap. I, per... I got rid of the destroyers. That's not good. Early destroyer. Uh, well. That's the uh, marking. Well, that's fine. We'll just show this back up again. Destroyers. Early destroyer. Early destroyer. Where's level... Oh, there's a the hole. Wait, we can't use a hole, though. Design lacks one of the more required modules. Oh, God. Well, I think if we just do this, it'll be fine. A definitely anti-submarines. And then torpedo launchers. Can we get look, two? We could get double deckage of this stuff. But that's really cool, but maybe we don't want to do that. Probably want some... Oh, we already have anti-8. Oh. Well, I I'm really scared, to be honest. I'm really scared of subs. So I'll put that there. We need a battery. You might as well get the better battery. You might as well get the anti-air. Fire controls. 
just, yep, fire control systems, radar, uh, maybe a better end, oh, no, oh, actually, yes, because the reliability is already negative 20% for both, it'll use more fuel, but with the United States, I don't care, cool, and we've made another template, there you go, easy, let's get one of those guys, and I want you to put you in the Asiatic fleet, actually, that's extremely easy, that's actually very, very extremely easy, actually, that's a lot less complicated than I thought it was, but it's still a little complicated, don't get me wrong. And the House Committee supports presidential policy. Very good. And we got 50, 50 more freaking representatives. That's right. We pay our farmers out. Oh, yeah. And that's we're making a very good amount of military. Civilian. Civilian factories. All right. So, ooh, construction two. Very good. More resource extraction. Don't really need it at the moment. Director fire. Oh, the director fire one. Oh, less reliability. I don't like that. I don't like getting hit like that. Uh, 37 stuff. 1937 tech. I, I do want to do all this eventually. But since we have naval XP and we can grind out more, let's do this. <laughs> That'll be good. Uh, let's see. Both of you. Select all. Prepare now. You will. Uh. Yes. I want you both right here. Since it's only 1937, we do have some time. Hmm. Very good. And you're both here. Combine the fleets. And then, of course, like I said earlier, I will, of course... Uh... Oh, you can't repair because... This is not the place to repair for you. Regardless. I will assign the fleets to different areas of where they should go between this episode and the next. 37. Uh... We don't have enough air experience for me to choose that. But we do have enough of this experience. Better subs. Yes, please. And we do have six research slots, so no big no big problem. Uh we could get more aluminum, but I don't really need that. Uh, let's see, special measures. It's fine. Nice. Ah, don't you love politics? We can just literally buy our politicians. Alright, so how's this looking? Indianapolis is getting refitted. Oh, there you go. So I'll allow them to split off if they get a little injured. That's totally fine with me. Yeah, just make sure you're prepared. A lot of these destroyers aren't actually very good because they're all old. Oh! Oh, and the Republican Spain was annexed. And we've got better machine tools, and I will end episode very soon. Just to let you know. Yeah, I'll do that. Why not? Alright, so usually in my case, or at least what a lot of people have said so far, National Spain wins a lot more often than uh, Republican Spain now, apparently. Ooh, invest in the economy. An additional civilian factory has been... Oh! Wait, I was supposed to do that? Withdrawal from naval treaties. Oh, shit. Was I not so... You know, that... these are the things that the game doesn't actually tell you about. If not completed, I will lose more support. Additional civilian factory. Well, well, you could have told me that before. Yunnan joins the Chinese United Front. Developed aluminum production. Wow, that actually uses 12 civilian factories. Holy cow. Yeah, so we're going to miss that. That's okay. Small caliber semi armor piercing shell. Cool. Factors are in attack, heavy attack. Uh, let's get the, the holes. I think that would be a good idea to get better holes going as well. Very nice. Support not looking too bad. 8% war support. 100% stability. We are a very stable country that's honestly not very... That's kind of poor at the moment. Uh, Amelia Earhart circumnavigates the globe. He will be missed. Eight senators go into opposition. Well... Oh, well. Oh, oh! And would you look at that? It looks like Alaska as a core state as well as Hawaii. Don't you love it? Instead of doing it in the 50s, we have added Alaska and Hawaii as true American states. I'm looking at you, Puerto Rico. You'll never become an American state. Huh. Good luck with that. Well, I don't know. Maybe they will. I don't think they really want to become a state, which is fine with us. I don't think we get very much from, from them becoming a state. Did I add... I added you guys over here. Why did you come up here? You are supposed to come down here. And this is the last thing we'll do. War Department done. We get more maximum power of command increase. I don't really need the Pentagon right now, or the Department of Defense. Oh, we can produce more fighters. That's actually really good. Two, oh, God dang it. I don't have enough support. I need this. I definitely need that. Selective training. We need this as well. 
Uh, so, let's see, what can we do to finish this little episode off? Manhattan Project sounds like a good idea. Ooh. Suspend the persecution. Well, I don't want less stability. But then we can get to the Ware Group. But then we can go to the US USSR Economic Cooperation. And the Unholy Alliance, or Secure China, and Monarchism. But we can get to the Fair Labor Standards Act, which actually sounds like a good thing to do. So we'll go with Suspend Persecution. So with that in mind, uh, we're going to end our episode here. I will play a little bit ahead of time, just to make sure that the navies are more in sync with what I have said this episode. So with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something here new today as we are all discovering how the naval meta now works. Uh, subscribe if you're new here. I would appreciate that. Like the video if you liked the video. If you didn't like the video, subscribe and like anyways. And I will see you tomorrow as we hopefully might get to 1938. Thank you very much for watching.